Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joining in on another collaboration. Thank you to Miss Vanny from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. She is our gracious host. And today we are covering why I homeschool. And this might be a long one because we decided to homeschool for so so many reasons. Um, one of the biggest reasons was um, I have felt called to homeschool my kids even when my older two kids were young and I knew that they were going to have some behavior disorders and I knew that they were going to need more specialized education um, that I felt they just weren't necessarily going to get. Um, but I was a single mom and it was a struggle and, and it was just not going to be a reality. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to homeschool my oldest a little bit later on, which was one of the reasons why we are definitely homeschooling now. But, um, so one, I have always felt in my heart since I became a mom that um, I wanted to homeschool, that I was supposed to homeschool my children, and um, that there wasn't going to be anybody who could help under who could help them or understand them better than me. Um, another reason we homeschool is I have a lot of friends who are teachers, mostly public school teachers, and I have watched the institution of public schooling take the life out of what they desperately wanted to do. They wanted to bring life to an education and m make this fun. I, I don't know anybody who has gone to school for teaching who isn't excited about teaching children. And I think that they have just taken a lot of that away from them um, with the standardized testing and how schools are, they're, how they're working anymore. Um, I have seen with my older two children in school, um, school is basically a giant daycare from preschool all the way to senior year anymore. So a lot, I see a lot of teachers um, giving up their time at home with their families to do even more in the school, and they're not getting paid much more for it. Um, they're losing the time with their families that they shouldn't have to lose. Um, I see my friends having to pay out of pocket an awful lot for just general things in their classrooms that it's, there's been a huge breakdown in the public school system and I, I it's adversely affected a lot of things and it makes me really sad. Um, I myself think that I had a pretty decent public education. Uh, I don't see that anymore at all. Um, with the breakdown of the nuclear family, or at least even just a two-parent household, um, people are relying on the schools to basically raise their kids, and that's not their job. That's not what they're there for. These people have their own families and their own homes, and they love these children. They wouldn't do the job if they didn't love these kids, but um, society is making their jobs very, very hard. They're making administrators' jobs very, very hard. And it's taking a toll on society as a whole, in general. Um, the other reason 
we homeschool is after having my oldest two children go through public school, my oldest daughter is 17 and she will be a senior this year. She is going to trade school. She's going for uh, welding and this is her second year and we're very, very proud of her. But, um, and this is none to the fault of teachers. This is, like I said, the breakdown and the required testing and, um, the change of the dynamic of the schools. Um, my children have a less than lackluster education. I am not impressed with what children are learning today. Um, I'm less impressed with the behaviors that they are picking up in the schools. Um, bullying is a huge issue. And the thing is people want the schools to fix it, but it isn't the school's problem. This starts at home. And like I said before, the breakdown of a nuclear or a cohesive family unit is probably the biggest reason of this happening. Um, but the schools get blamed. The schools, I think, have tried their best to do what they could within the parameters they have been given because they're very little. Um, and so it has become an issue. Um, my older daughter was horribly bullied. Um, my older son was actually bullied quite badly as well. Um, my daughter was cutting. We had, we had a lot of issues and I'm thankful that she's found a niche in trade school. Um, my older son, we ended up bringing home. It ended up being kind of a fairly lost cause. And I looked at my husband and I said, we're homeschooling. Are you in and ready for this ride? Because I don't think I can deal with much more. Um, I knew I couldn't deal with having to deal with administration who understood why I was angry, why, and they also understood that, you know, it was happening. Things were happening, um, beyond anyone's control really. And, um, they knew that I understood that their hands were quite tied. Um, but it's still no excuse. So, um, yeah, we chose to homeschool and I now can selectively choose who I socialize my children with and where I socialize my children. Um, I can give them an individualized education. Um, I do have the choice of, um, having an IEP for my younger children. And, um, right now we are kind of using one for preschool for my youngest. My six and a half year old does not need one. She's doing quite well. Um, but my two and a half year old, he'll be three in October does. Um, he was born with an incredibly rare genetic condition. And, um, so he has some delays, some global delays. He's picked up a little bit and, he's doing quite well with milestones, but we still have, um, early intervention and he will have intermittent, um, services through an IEP through the school, but we probably won't continue on with those and he won't be going to the preschool. Um, and we have private services and I choose to do that. And I made it very clear to them that that is the route that I wanted to take because, um, I can socialize my children just fine. They don't have to be in a school to do that. And, um, I can even find children of their own ages to socialize them with. So they have a peer group because I do believe that children need children, their own age around them as they grow. So they can kind of hit the same milestones together. Um, I don't think they need a ton of them around, but some friends, their own ages and in those age ranges close to them, um, for a, a peer group to have something similar go that 
for kids that have things similar going on in their lives at that time. Um, but yeah, I get to uh, selectively socialize my kids. And I get to give them not only a well-rounded education and choose the curriculum that works for them best, but um, I also get to choose their like Christian education and their devotionals and hopefully guide the way they get to see the world and experience it and interact with people. And it's my job to raise good, kind, responsible humans. And I feel that homeschooling is honestly the best way to do that at this point in time. Um, with such a breakdown everywhere else, I will be honest, things scare me. They scare me a lot. Um, and knowing that things that are very important to us as a family, my, I, I get to teach my children. And um, those, well, for example, my 17-year-old daughter is probably one of the smartest people I know. But she doesn't really know a whole lot. Um, I think it's heartbreaking that my daughter doesn't know anything about the suffer the, the women's suffrage uh, movement. My daughter couldn't tell you how women got the right to vote. Um, her history is horribly lacking. Um, it has taken now to her senior year for her to catch up with math in the slightest. And that was fortunately because she has a great IEP team at her trade school. She has some really, really great teachers. Um, and fortunately I laid down some really great rails of communication with that girl because she is an expert communicator. I will give her that. And she really enjoys what she's doing there at the school. And she communicates with the teachers to make sure they know where she needs help. And so she has done incredibly well there. But as a senior in high school, there are so many things that I am so disappointed that my kids don't know. I mean, the idea of mythology not even making it into a regular English course anymore blows my mind. Greek mythology is an elective anymore. I, Greek mythology was something we learned about. Um, they don't spend a lot of time on poetry. Uh, things are just very, very, very rushed. My kids don't. My two older children know nothing about American government. America, they don't know anything about American history, nothing that to stuck with them. I think that's heartbreaking. My daughter couldn't tell you why the Civil War started. If that's public education today, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to put my kids somewhere where they are scared for their bodily safety. And mind, I live in a small, small rural community. My children have lived here there and gone here their entire lives. I don't live in a big city where kids should, kids are getting lost in the fabric of, of a school because there's just so much of it. I live in a small area. There might be 85 kids in my daughter's graduating class, in all honesty. And the fact that a principal rumor has it, and I wouldn't put it past, um, that a room, that a principal in a small town around here was let go because people didn't like the fact that she enforced the rules on the kids. They felt she was too hard on the kids. Somebody needed to be. I, I cannot support public education anymore like that. So, um, 
I guess my main reasons for, I guess, to list them all would be one, I felt called to be a homeschool mom. Always. I've always felt called to be a homeschool mom. Um, two, with the breakdown of the nuclear family, or at least a two parent household, um, schools have basically, it's been put on their shoulders that they are these caretakers. This is this, this is a safe place. And sometimes it's the only place some of these kids even eat anymore. And it's heartbreaking. Um, and the thing is the schools were not created to sustain your child, um, or bring them up. They're not a daycare. They are not a substitute for parents. Um, they were a school. They were meant to bring your children in and educate them. And that leads me to the fact that children don't feel safe at school anymore. There's bullying because the schools can only handle so much. There's a lot of things that are falling down around their ankles. Um, standardized testing is an absolute mess. My child is an individual and I don't need to compare them to anyone else. I think comparing ourselves to China and anywhere else and to other children anywhere else in the country is absolutely preposterous. Each child is incredibly unique and intelligent in their own way. And you don't need a test to show it. If teachers were allowed to teach and cover the material and teach the way they were taught and want to teach, kids would be enjoying school and they would be soaking this up and they're not. Um, so yeah, they have a lackluster education because everything is just boring and te teachers are teaching to tests. Um, I'm disappointed that my friends who are teachers are having to use their own money to support their classrooms and not getting paid any more than they really were. I am disappointed that they are losing time with their families because they have to give up more time for people who are using a school as a daycare service. And it's just, it's sad. These, the education in the United States of America is no longer what it used to be. And it's so far off the feckin' path of what it was originally supposed to be. I don't know if they can ever find their way back. So we homeschool and we'll continue to homeschool. And I hope I don't hurt anyone's feelings, but that is why we homeschool. I, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but these are the things that I have seen over the last 17 years of being a mom and being able to homeschool the last two and being incredibly actively involved in the schools, in my kids' education over the last 17 years. I did PTA, I assisted in the schools, I was um, president of the policy council for Head Start. I have been on their boards and I see where education is going in America right up close and personal. And I have actually been part of some of those deciding factors. And the idea of when my 20 year old son was a kindergartner and I walked into the room and went, Hey, how can I help? And the teacher handed me a stack of little cute things that needed to be cut out and scissors and went, if you could go down to the resource room and cut these out for me, that would be great because we just don't have time to do it. And I looked at her, I said, but aren't the kids supposed to be learning how to use scissors and scissor skills? And she says, we have a test coming up. She says, I don't actually have time to do that. She goes, they don't have time to do that. I really appreciate you getting this done so we can at least have a couple minutes of fun time in our class. It didn't sit well with me. 
and unfortunately I didn't have the means to change anything about it at that point in time. But I do now. And therefore, I homeschool. I hope this can help you or help change the way you see things in a, another way or even possibly help change things in your area or help you bring things to the attention of others that might not see it either. So I hope everyone has a good year, regardless of whether you are public schooling, private schooling, or homeschooling.